You think water is good for you, eh? Well, it is. The life-giving properties of this marvelous liquid are contrasted by its devious role in the formation of hurricanes. Few events rival the sheer power that these storms exhibit upon the world. Let's begin with the formation of these utter beasts. Warm water allows for a large amount of warm air to rise, causing an area of low pressure to form below. Air from surrounding areas of high pressure begin to become warmed as it approaches the area of low pressure. This air soon cools off and begins to form cloud systems. With and from the Coriolis effect, the system of clouds begin to spin and grow, while still being powered by the warm ocean water. The eye of the hurricane forms from an area of very low air pressure, with higher pressured air from above flowing into the eye. Once the winds hit 74 miles per hour, it is considered a hurricane. Once the storm has reached hurricane level winds, it will start to move across the water. The hurricane will start its journey westward by means of the trade winds, originating from the subtropical ridge region of the ocean. It begins to move away from the equator by means of the Coriolis effect, which is when the rotation of the Earth causes the system to turn towards either pole, depending on which hemisphere the hurricane is in. The Coriolis effect also influences the direction of the storm's winds, being clockwise in the southern hemisphere and counterclockwise in the north. Once the hurricane runs out of warm, moist air to power itself, by either hitting land or a cold body of water, it will start to rapidly dissipate, the winds will slow, and the hurricane will die. As it dies, Many areas of unorganized low pressure will form. The storm may also form into an extratropical cyclone, which if repowered by a source of warm water, may reform into a hurricane. You're probably wondering how we got all this information on hurricanes. The NASA satellite Aqua has aided in the observation and acquisition of information regarding hurricanes since its launch in 1999. The satellite records data on hurricanes and other natural phenomena, ranging from atmospheric and cloud properties to humidity levels and wind speeds. And now you guys know about hurricanes.